Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're going to do something a little different today. We're back on the Ford. Hang on just a second. Let me shut this music off because I sure don't want to get a copyright strike. Okay. This vise is real hard to turn all the way over. So we're going to take it apart. I'm going to grease everything real good. And we're going to try to make it function again like it's supposed to. Taking this cutter pin out. Probably needs the threads chased on that thing. I already took these two Allen bolts out that hold this plate in. Well, we're going to Loctite these bolts where they're just snug so they don't come back out. There's that piece. It's got some old dried up grease on it. I'm going to wire brush all this off and put fresh stuff on it. As well as wire brush this. And then we're just going to wipe all this stuff down. Yeah, see, that's the problem. Everything is just gummed up. And I'm going to have this thing out in the weather a lot, so it's really going to have to have maintenance on it pretty regular. Should have a little further the other way. That hurt. Mm. A little chilly today. I've been cleaning up leaves and the wind's been working against me. And now that I'm done, the wind stopped. is missing the pipe jaws that go in here. I should have had a double on this side and a single on this side. Would have held in with these. It's missing one, but all they are is like a big set screw. I'd like to find them, but you know, it's not a deal breaker. I mean, I'm sure we're going to be able to use it. things are pretty self-explanatory there's not a lot to them let's go wire brush this first yeah I've been needing to get this thing where it was functional it kind of I mean I could have been using it but
get some brake clean. Looks like new again. Still got a little, little stuff in there. I'm not too awful worried about that. Hmm. I'm sure this was just a Harper Freight type. Vice. that off with the brake clean. Thank <laughs> you. 
piece up first. Not much. Because if it's too much, then it's just going to collect all kinds of dust going down dirt roads. I mean, it's probably going to do it anyways, even if I put a little bit in, but it'll make me feel better. this surface it's probably not the best grease for this wheel bearing grease but it's what I got it's extra sticky and we're gonna put this piece in I'm going to put it in this hole and it'll work its way to where it needs to be. But we are going to put some on the threads. For sure. Did it the way we took it apart? Dang, I didn't know to chase some threads. Yeah, probably a good thing I didn't. Anyways, because it's awful loose feeling. Clean this junk off my hand or my finger. I gotta put these Allen bolts in with a little Loctite. Not 
much because it does not take much. Then you want to open it up a little because that ring will back off some and then that's where I'm going to leave these set. Because if I had the vise closed and these tight, it'll be too tight to... Yeah. It's already too tight. there you have it guys wasn't much to it like I said I wouldn't mind finding these pipe jaws but this will work pretty good too it's a pretty good size vise it'll hold two and three eighths probably even my three inch pipe so it'll work for what I need so hope y'all enjoyed the video I know it wasn't a very long one it's Christmas Day I hope y'all all had a good Christmas um, my wife had to work today and yesterday so it's just been me and the kids home today and my mother-in-law and father-in-law came and got the kids after lunch probably about 1 30 or 2 30 so it would give me some time to do some stuff around here and so i brought the other six tires in i need to sell them i got this six i gotta sell and then i've got the, the correct six for the truck coming but they're delayed right now because of obviously because of Christmas so I'm getting ready to go back over to the in-laws and well first I got to go get a shower then I'm gonna head back over to the in-laws we're gonna have supper over there with them tonight unfortunately my wife don't get home till 8 30 or so so she's not gonna get to participate unless we just eat real late which we may do we're going to try to hold off till six or seven and then maybe she'll show up and we can all eat together which doesn't happen very often and if it does it late at night that's just my life she leaves about 5 30 in the morning 5 45 and gets home about 8 30 at night and that's usually when i eat supper with her or i try to try to hold off Unless I've had a really long day where I didn't eat hardly anything. And then she's like, just go ahead and eat without me. I hate doing that, but sometimes you got to. So, anyhow. Ooh, I think I, nope, I didn't. So I just locked the keys in there, but they're in my own pit. So, I was going to wire these three lights in today, but I said, heck with it, I'm tired. I mean, blowing the driveway out, picking up leaves and moving stuff all in the last little 34, 30 to 45 minutes I've been working out here. So, with that being said, guys, again, I hope y'all had a Merry Christmas and I hope you have a Happy New Year and I will see y'all in 2024. Later.